where people are entitled to go. I've noticed, uh, something that I've noticed as a mature student here at Chester is I've seen a lot of things that are available in terms of symposiums and conferences and I've always gone along and found myself as the only undergraduate student there. When discussing this with other undergraduates, it's basically a, a feeling of not belonging and of being identified as not being ready. And I think there's something very important in terms of the exposure to these things earlier on in academia. Because in my experience, my degree has completely changed in that one year and I've connected arts-based research and derive with everything that I've done in the previous year. Um, I currently, um, uh, I have developed a live art piece, um, which is a response to the work of Adrian Howells. Um, if, uh, you, um, Adrian Howells worked a lot um, looking at intimacy and about creating spaces and experiences for audience participants. And I see a clear connection with Dereve, because I think the Dereve, apart from the importance of allowing things, it's actually about creating the experience and creating the, the situation and the place in the same way as before someone mentioned the idea of a, there's no creativity without place. Mm -hmm. And yeah. the Dereve is a place, whether mm -hmm. it's, in, yeah. it's in transition, it's in movement, but it is a place and it's about creating those experiences. <coughs> to delve into creating. Mm -hmm. And today we were talking that um, for us it was very important this in-between spaces that they will um, happen, of course, they are happening already. So we are already deriving with always mm -hmm. and when you define derive, many what happens very usually is that people say, ah, but I've been doing so, no? I, this is, ah, but ah, you call it derive? Ah, okay. <laughs> this, and I say yes, because what I like the most about this is it's nothing new. Well, it's, it belongs, it's an organic thing, it's a human thing. It goes with, within us, the walking and the deriving. And all of these spaces that are um, in between when you go and have a coffee and all of these um, derived conversations that we have going from one to one. And in a symposium, for instance, there, there is a lot. Each one of us has his or her own derive within the symposium. So what we are only doing is just making it visible and giving it uh, an official space, which will then create another natural derive. So in fact, trying to grasp it and offer it as a workshop is interesting, but at the same time, you are deactivating what you are trying to do. And then, because you are creating the workshop, sometimes the authentic reef is happening out of your workshop. <laughs> okay? So it's like, but this is also meta thinking <laughs> about the whole thing. But we said, um, okay, in fact, what we want to do throughout all of these 12 days is to give, um, uh, just to make it possible for all of us to meet in a place, to walk around Chester, and to share conversations and to keep weaving all of these um, uh, relationships and to give an extra time and see how do these conversations develop in something that we still don't know and that will relate to what's happening also throughout the session. So it's another way of a counter uh, narrative. It's not, I would say, you want to add something? No, I suppose maybe clarify more. Um, what we'll be doing, uh, yeah. as, as is presented in the program, we'll, exactly. um, after today, uh, we'll be doing three derives um, before the mm -hmm. multiplier event. Um, as it says in the program, those are optional. So the idea we have is to, during these encounters, we open up the space for anyone to join us. Mm -hmm. uh, equally, if you can only come to one, that's fine. If you can't come to any and you only see today and then the multiplier again, it's also fine. fine. Or even if we never see you again, also fine. Every <laughs> every part of the Dereve process is going to be okay. about our, our journey and, uh, and creating yeah. whatever exists for the multiplier yeah, event. Yeah, and it's going to happen mm -hmm. anyway because mm -hmm. we, the two of us, we are the ones that we have the compromise. The Compromise? The compromise to be doing this derive. 
So we're creating this space and we invite whoever wants to join us. Also people which might not be participating in the program. If you know whoever around Chester that is interested in joining us, it's like we are going to walk. If nobody is joining, then we too are going to walk. And then after this, we'll have a session, at, as we said, in the multiplier event, which is this part of reflection. So the thing always goes about framing, walking, and then sharing uh, our experience so that we can reflect on this experience. And then we just introduce uh, an exercise, a poetic exercise, that we call uh, transcating. And this is uh, a word that I found by surprise. Um, because I was preparing one of these workshops in English and I was typing that at the end I wanted to translate the experience into a poetic way so that um, it was in fact an arts-based uh, methods idea just to find a new way of narrating the experience so that we could find those things that we have, uh, we have um, maybe we have missed which is what we are talking about as base the Reef. And instead of typing um, translating, I typed translating. And because L and K are one next to the other. And as soon the, the what I got very um, touched by is that as soon as I made the mistake, um, at that very moment, I knew that that was the word, that in fact it was not what, I was not thinking about translating because also Anna knows much better than me, but I've also been translator in the past. And I used this word of translation because I couldn't find another one. And then when I did this, and also the way I found the word explains a lot of what I want to mean about translating. And I, the first person that knew this was Anna. I sent her a WhatsApp, Anna, I found the word, which is, and she understood immediately what I meant. And when I shared this with Jamie, it happened that he, right away, he, today he has explained me the, <laughs> the thing, why is this word so um, significant, and he explained it much better than I do. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can remember it. <laughs> um, I suppose when, when Eva shared this experience with me, the discovering of appearing, this word, transcathing, I felt that it gave a, a definition or a feeling to what I have been doing personally all my life. Um, as someone who um, I have a mixed and uh, maybe a bit of a battle with cultural identity, having moved and been in different countries and been torn between one and the other and, uh, and lived a life apart from academia and certainly in it and always involved in translating and language and, and being in different social and political and artistic circles and all the time traveling from one to the other um, there's always been a feeling of, of constant movement and at times of falling and at times of decorating that movement which is essentially what skating particularly urban skating does um, and trans skating I suppose just kind of connected mm -hmm. with with my way of thinking and my way of thinking that what we do as artists and beyond artists as human beings, um, I think is constantly strive for a way of translating what's in our head so that another human being can understand it. And, and translating isn't enough to communicate that idea. Hopefully translating might be. <laughs> and we said that maybe we were talking today at lunch that the transcating, right, the, the skating, this urban activity and this thing, we might, not all of us, but many people feel more um, close, uh, feel closer to the idea of skating and get uh, much more of an idea of what it is, as if you also by saying translating, which might be very significant for people who is familiar with the activity, but um, it's in another, well, what is more like urban based and practice and, but anyway, it's not, we didn't want, I don't want to say translating. So the word is translating, <laughs> translating is another thing. And uh, which is, has a lot of uh, relationship with this. And I will be very happy, I'm very happy that Anna is here through all of these days because I'm very curious about her reflections at the <laughs> very end and throughout all of uh, these days and so. 
So this is how it works. And now what we are um, proposing is that uh, as a framing, we thought it would be a good idea. Vamos bien. Um, a good idea to um, follow this structure, the same structure that we've planned for the whole days. So we have this framing part, walk, reflection, and translating. So now um, we invite you to go, because we are not that much, it would be nice to be all of us together, just to walk, go for a walk now, just a small, short derive, let's say uh, 20 minutes derive, okay? And then just we come back and we share and we try um, a transcape 